Monday, September 16th, 4IR PLM Smart Manufacturing News. Wow, what a busy last two, three, four days of news from around the world. Today, we're jumping right in with artificial intelligence, adding value to the twin. Then we got PTC and Brown, Browseware coming together to do something pretty amazing. Max Rini with Centric, Third Love with Centric, Desol with WearTech, and the Greater Anglia trains come together with Toshiba to produce a digital twin. Mahindra's doing stuff with DS, Siemens is rebranding, and we've even still got a little bit of time left for some smart manufacturing stuff. We're around Team Center. Uh, sorry, you're on Sim Center 2019.1 and the Siemens Advanced Factory. Full show, sit down, relax, seven, eight ish minutes. See you. Welcome back. Press like, press like, subscribe, whatever you want to do, but please keep watching. Let's build up the importance and the attention to pre-LM and smart manufacturing in the world today. So, artificial intelligence is upgrading the digital twin. Yeah, analyst firm Gartner predicts that by 2022, over two thirds of companies that have implemented IoT will have deployed at least one digital twin across production. AI is bringing repeatability to the digital twin. In fact, NVIDIA um, has worked with Bosch to develop a predictive maintenance in domestic boilers, uh, which will send a text to the owner uh, if the pressure should drop or if the temperature rises above preset limits to accommodate the hundreds of boiler types in the company's range. An AI mini digital twin was created using the same algorithm and the same neural network that could be trained to learn for itself, machine learning stuff. This way, the digital twin could be replicated across the range of boilers. Exciting stuff going on. And software firm PTC come together with Browseware to launch the first native integration between their PLM and 3D tools in a move aimed to improve the efficiency and creativity of their design teams, as well as extending the value of the 3D throughout the, the, the supply chain. Then, just down the road from me, Bombix PLM. Yes, it's the newcomer, the new startup. Good luck to them. I've been shortlisted for the finals for the Tech Startup of the Year Award um, up in Hull and Humberside. Exciting. Good luck. Hope you get there because can't wait to see what you're going to do initially to that whole retail apparel fashion area. Exciting. And Max Rini, the Chinese ladies fashion brand, has selected Centric uh, Software PLM to achieve their strategic and operational digital transformation goals. Max Rini, if you don't know, is a Shenzhen cloud creator fashion design co, uh, co-founded by husband and wife team Kevin and Sarah Wong. The brand had specific target segment, segments uh, in mind right from the start. Fans of the medieval castle themes and fantasy elements. In just five years, the brand has recorded sales of approximately a billion US dollars and already a saturated domestic market for ladies apparel. Amazing. Good for you, Centric, getting that one. That is great. And Visionaire Centric have just shared their successful collaboration. Uh, Visionaire is a unique Italian high-end furniture and interior design brand, uh, brand based out of Bologna in Italy. They started in 59 with the Cavalli brothers, Vittorio and Pompeo, had the revolutionary idea of using polyurethane, a new soft and durable material for furniture design. They had reached the point where they were no longer able to keep up with demand and fulfill orders on schedule using their existing ERP, well, not surprising, it's not really what they do, um, and communication system. Um, they they were in a delicate time and sales volumes maintaining a renowned quality and craftsmanship. So they wanted to find a technology solution that could provide them with the right architecture and tools to support their growth and centric, got it? Then last, Centric, third mention, that's it, no more for a few days, I hope. Anyway, has been selected by Third Love, the direct-to-consumer women's intimate brand, and they are in there as well, but the deals keep rolling. Dessel just announced its SMB PLM solution deal with WearTech. Uh, they were founded in 2016. WearTech worked closely with clients to create high-quality, customizable, industry-specific uniforms 
and apparel, heavy focus on practical design and customization. Another deal for Dessel. Really exciting. UK Greater Anglia Trains has worked with Toshiba to create a digital twin of its network to assist with the development of new timetables, which can be then tested for robustness using AI. Toshiba Digital and Consulting Corp consolidated data previously stored across separate systems, bringing together information on Greater Anglia's routes, rolling stock performance timetables and operating rules. This was verified by interviewing station and on-train staff to obtain information on human factors not present in the data. A computer model which accurately represents the real operating environment was then created, enabling adjustments to be made to calling patterns, train timings and platform allocations in order to make the time playable more efficient and robust. Uh, the head of performance and planning, Keith Palmer from Greater Angulars, uh, said working with Toshiba's digital twin was really exciting. It would enable us to build better timetables, delivering better performance and reduce journey times based on the excellent practices used in Japan and beyond. Great, go see that digital twin coming. So Mahinda Electric Mobility has partnered up with DS uh, to use its technology for faster electric vehicle development. Mahinda Electric is using Simulia for simulating the functioning of automotive components in a virtual environment. Now, while the partnership has been announced just now, they've actually been working together for the last few months uh, for the development of the EV models. Mahindra has actually got a portfolio that includes eVerido, E20 Plus passenger vehicles, E Supro cargo van, and three wheeler passenger trucks, Trio and E Alpha Mini. They are reportedly saying that typically it takes them four to five years to develop one of these models uh, to full rollout, but now the companies are looking to do it within two to three years, thanks to DS. Good for them. Mm. Siemens PLM has changed its name. It will now be called Siemens Digital Industry Software. Move came from the realization that PLM really was not sufficient to describe the wide range of software tools Siemens now offers, as well as blending the recently acquired Mendix tools into the Siemens PLM software. The Mendix platform has also been expanded. So it now includes cloud and application services for digital engineering powered by Mindsphere IoT, the company's cloud-based open IoT operating system. So Siemens moving along. These days, development teams from around the globe are moving from verification-centric engineering methods and towards more model-based engineering, of course. Now, with this approach, they can now achieve more pragmatic methods for early product performance prediction and support systems driven product development. This emerging uh, industry paradigm enables engineers to deliver innovation faster with greater confidence and on lower costs with the creation of a product's digital twin. The Sim Center Test Lab 2019.1 has just been released, introducing new technologies and a series of functional enhancements, adding a dimension to the digitalization trend and effectively implementing the new role of physical testing. The highlights of this latest release are model based systems testing, component based transfer of path analysis, active sound design, solutions for AVAS sound quality engineering and pass by noise engineering updates as well as enhancements into the sim center test lab neo lastly siemens will build its most advanced factory production of distribution transformers in guangzhou the factory planned to be put into operation in 2021 will apply industry for zero standards and become a siemens model factory for the global industry that is it PLM Smart Manufacturing done tomorrow, A and D. Hope you appreciate it, thumbs up. Hope you like it, share it. See you tomorrow, thanks.